Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter on this May 8th, 2015. It's a Friday. So a lot of you guys looking forward to the weekend. Me? No, it's a work weekend, actually. Uh, actually heading out to IWC out at the Court Time Sports Center in Elizabeth, PA. Going to be a really, really fun show. And our big production with the full screen and the graphics and a bunch of videos. I'm going to have to time and play and not screw up. Uh, it'll be it'll be a good time out there if you're uh, in the area. Uh, please go check it out and check out everything else going on. Uh, um, and also, please sign up for the newsletter, uh, Sorgatron Media Creators. I'm going to be working on that as soon as these go up. And um, actually, this it's going to be connected because uh, uh, today I want to talk about. I, I had the fortune to visit, uh, you know, somebody I ran into at PodCamp last year, and she's walking around with an iPad, and it's got the, uh, um, I think it's called a touchpad, uh, a giant holder. So you can hold it and you can attach all these things and put your iPod, iPad on a tripod. And uh, she was using a software called um, TouchCast. And this intrigued me to the point where I have an iPad now. <laughs> it's an iPad 3, but I can do a little bit with this thing. Um, because I missed the, kind of the video options that you could do with a device like this. And uh, this led to more email conversations. And I got to visit, uh, uh, her name is Z, uh, Z Poerio. I hope I'm getting that right. I just know her Z. Um, but uh, she's actually, uh, she teaches out there at the in the Upper St. Clair at a, at a Catholic school. At the uh, to do uh, St. Louis de Marriott Alex School uh, out there, and uh, and I got to see what they're doing. They're trying to do a news program uh, with their kind of AV club, uh, and this is a middle school. This is an element high elementary school. This is not high school, right? And uh, already these kids are getting a, a chance to get into it and, and 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 work with these you know work with these tools. Um, and it was it it was so. Uh, yeah, TouchCast. Uh, some people are asking in the uh, Periscope, touchcast.com. I'll get back to that in a moment. But, uh, you know, they've had, you know, a, a, a streaming show. It was going through a computer. And, uh, you know, that, that streamer now is no more. I'm trying to, you know, figure out, well, maybe you guys can use YouTube or something like that. And this setup, it was, the setup was so, so fun. Like, they have a camera, an old mini DV camera, and it's pointing at the people. They do have a wall that's painted green so they can do green screen stuff uh, behind them. And this is in a computer lab. And, uh, and they're taking the camera and, you know, pointing it over. Here is the two of them. They have an iMac sit over on the right, and uh, you know that's where they show up pictures and videos. And they actually go over to the internal lights out to, to push that out. They don't have somebody sitting over on this side. You know, it, it, they they've they've created this this very elaborate uh, way to. Uh, do their news show, and apparently people really enjoyed it, and it's something they could do with the morning announcements. The kids are getting experience, getting on camera, being behind the camera, doing you know the jobs around, putting a show together, and and it was really cool. It was it was really kind of uh, fun to see what they've been doing with it. But we were kind of playing with other options. Say, oh, what could you do with Periscope? What could you do with Meerkat? Uh, what could you do with YouTube? You know, uh, to, to kind of do this in a different way. And the nice thing is they have that you know touch touchpad uh, case, and we can just and a really good tripod that we could tilt actually, and they could just do a periscope thing and move the camera, much like they're already doing with that mini DV hooked up to an old uh, 2009 iMac. Uh, and and you know, and she's trying to work her way around things, and and you know, you know, trying to use a a black magic uh, box and and all this stuff, and really just hitting that ceiling on wirecast and all this stuff, and really just hitting that ceiling of the capabilities of of the hardware at hand, and that's what I found. Um, you know, it really really reminded me of what we do here. You know, and what we've done over the years. Now everything looks kind of nice, and we have graphics, and everything's smooth, and I can transition. And look, there's a computer screen over there if you're on video. And uh, we're using Periscope on other ways, just because that's the platform of choice these days. And say hi, guys. Three people are watching me and asking me questions about TouchCast, which I promise I'll still talk about. And uh, and 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 that's how that's how you get there you know that's how you learn now you know being in a school system you only have so much access to new technology and everything so you gotta make do with what you have um now that they've done completely because there, there's the news show but they are also doing these videos with software called touchcast and i think i want to talk about this a little more a little bit uh, more in the newsletter 
but basically think like everything I do with Wirecast here, with the graphics, with the uh, you know switching, with all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, a green screen, everything like that in this software package. Uh, if you guys haven't checked this out, and this is my first kind of diving really, really into it. I've had it on my iPad for months, but I just haven't had the time to really kind of dig into it. I mean, they even have a Will I Am video. So uh, the, it does the green screen and a very adequately i think does the green screen for um uh, you know live what they were doing you can pull up websites you can pull up all this other stuff you can pull up twitter feeds the graphics the the the, the built-in uh graphics are, are are nuts and if you're watching this video and checking out if you can go to ch- touchcast.com and check it out everything on here was made with an ipad and of course, the cameras are, are pretty decent on an iPad these days, but that they're going to a conference and, and they're going to be using this to go get interviews, use graphics, they use the green screen um, for it looks better than anything they're going to be doing with computer hardware with a $600 wire cast with anything like that. Uh, the Wall Street Journal is apparently using this for a few things. And the other cool thing about this is it's interactive. You can actually, um, you mostly have to go through TouchCast to do this. And yeah, you can make things and put it on YouTube. If you're a video blogger, if you're trying to do like your own thing, you don't need all this stuff like I'm doing. You know, I could can all this stuff, put my iPad of me up against the green screen and just kind of live do that. Right. I'm not even sure if this girl's in front of actual people over there. And she's actually it looks like in a, in a way controlling it a little bit from the iPad, showing some of this uh, footage. Uh, again, this is the Wall Street Journal, and, and for those on audio, she's kind of uh, in a, she's in a in a newsroom with people working behind, and she's bringing up footage in the corner, and uh, and and actually, I guess, interacting with it for the most part. So I'm wondering how that's working out. But uh, it, it's really interesting and, and really powerful. Uh, you know, I'm the one that's looked at uh, iMovie. I was trying to teach somebody how to use uh, iMovie a few years ago after not really using it for a long, long time. I've been Final Cut and Premiere for several, several years. So why would I open something like that? And I was really kind of impressed with the powerful tools underneath. When you dig in, it was like, oh, wait, you can change your, you can do this to the volume. You have this this function in here. You, you can do all that. You know, uh, there's a lot of power in these tools. It's not quite as limited as in like I can put a clip here, I can put a clip clip here and hope that they worked out because it's very limiting audio or I'm sorry, very limited uh, editing and capabilities. But uh, and to see like what the school is doing with it, the, the quizzes are, are fun. I'm like, I'm looking at this. And I'm like, so you can do a completely video quiz test set up in this. I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, Wow. Um, Because, I mean, I I went to school for this stuff. I went to school to to make these interactive presentations. And, 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 you know, I I took three quarters of Macromedia Director. I know. I feel like I got so much out of that one, you know, in Flash and all this stuff. And and this tool will just make things and uh, put it on their site. And and people can go to it in a browser and actually uh, let me see if I can pull up one here that might actually have a little bit of interactivity. But um, it's incredible absolutely incredible uh, so check out touchcast.com it's on the ipad so if you have an ipad check this out if you if you have an ipad and 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 want to create something i would love to see what you do with this and i'm going i don't know how much i can get out of it on an ipad 3 it might be a little too weak to really kind of dive into the functions and maybe the green screen and whatever but if you got like an ipad air or a ipad uh, a mini or something this might this might be really nice for you so uh definitely definitely worth checking out uh for that and and thank you z for having me out and, and seeing what the what, what you guys are doing out there with video and tech and i hope i hope i helped out a little bit and get you guys back online and streaming for the kids uh here before the end of the school year and, and as i said i was like well this will solve your problem for now We'll see what's uh, around at the beginning of the next school year because it's going to be a long summer and a lot can happen and a lot can come out. A lot of updates can go right or wrong with Meerkat and Periscope, for instance, right? I'd love to be able to just tilt it the other way so they can stream that way because everybody's – because that was what we kind of determined was you know, we could Periscope and and Meerkat, but you're going to get the vertical video. And anybody that's going to see it because they have these uh, kind of large projector smart board kind of things that just brings a computer desktop in. So everybody's going to be watching it on there vertically. 
can see a little bit of problem with that. But anyways, uh, let me know what you think. What, what's something? What, what's a ceiling that you're hitting? You know, for me, I had to. I finally bought a computer dedicated to this stuff, so I have a computer that will just do the wirecast and won't be bogged down by other projects and other things that we're doing around here. Uh, what's what's kind of a a a a glass ceiling of technology that you've hit when you've been doing any kind of video audio work or anything like that you know i do say you can get a lot done with an iphone and an ipad or with other devices or what you have on your laptop but there is going to be something where you're like you're going to hit that ceiling as you work at it and get better that you're like man i need to upgrade you know this computer to an iMac, or I need, or you know, I need to com- upgrade this to a faster computer. I need to get a better webcam. I need to get a better camera. You know, what's some ceilings that you guys have run into in your creative works? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter or wherever you might find this video on Facebook and the YouTube. Please subscribe to either of these functions or iTunes or Stitcher or, or wherever you might find us. Are we missing somewhere? Do you wish we were on a platform? Please look us up on all of those, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.